government as well as private the kind of the pandemic is throwing up uh, a new challenge to the infrastructure in terms of uh, there is every most of the patients have suffering with low oxygen saturation so this is a new thing which had not happened during the first wave and that's when lions club international district 317f as a program coordinator i uh, thought of this idea to create a bank our lions club in ahmedabad have set up a similar bank so then we are looking at we just have started with 10 machines which is definitely not enough the kind of calls we are getting per day is about 250 to 300 calls across the country so we are trying to build the bank uh, across the country it may take some time uh, as the machines are not available the idea is you don't need a refill uh, cylinder here you don't need a cylinder so there is no question of refilling so here it takes uh, the machine takes a thing from the atmosphere uh and converts it into 93% pure oxygen so advantage is you don't have to carry a cylinder for refill you don't have to store two refill, refill cylinders and the uh, danger of having oxygen is oxygen is an inflammable item so having it at home liquid oxygen is can be a quite a challenge uh and here uh, based on the levels the doctors fixes the oxygen levels can be given per liter so we can go up to 5 liters it can from 0 to 5 liters so depending on what is the intake prescribed by the doctor it can be given so it's very very full proof thing only thing is it needs electricity and uh, ups is a uh, required and nothing that it the oxygen is going to drop immediately and the patient is going to collapse see saturation has to be maintained especially due to pneumonia and there on medication ultimately the pneumonia has to get cured and it takes a while for getting it good but this machine we are giving on a standby basis uh, when it's very very critical Uh, as we don't have many machines to give so based on that we are do the due diligence and then deploy the machine where uh, it may be for about 4 to 5 days to maximum week so after which they have to give back as we have to serve more and more so this is 5 liter per minute machine so you will see 5 liters here so now we don't have power so otherwise it has to be set from 1 2 3 4 5 liters based on the patient's requirement oxygen can be set for uh, the particular uh, no uh, no particular uh, deployment for the patient so mainly uh, normally a covid patient who is just recovered may need from 4 to 5 liters so doc- doctor prescribes the physician so or the pulmonologist or the uh, chest specialist so accordingly this can be set the oxygen is taken the atmosphere is taken to this filters behind we have this filters here so the this is the air inlet so this is one filter and this is uh, the other hipa filter so through which air is taken inlet to the compressor it's a oil free compressor inside then we have the 5 liter oxygen tank which gets collected so the it makes it into 93% pure oxygen and uh, then we fill water here so this is to humidify the oxygen because it will be dry so for humidifying the oxygen we put filter water then this is the outlet that goes to the patient okay the patient this is the nasal cannula so it goes into the nostrils of the patient and the, uh, so the saturation oxygen saturation goes up so this machine weighs about 25 to 30 kilos i request uh, doctors not to keep prescribing oxygen at home because every doctor the calls we are getting is we are getting discharge the well, doctor asks us to have a oxygen at home so there there shouldn't be any panic and i request the medical fraternity also to be uh, prudent in terms of prescribing oxygen cylinders they know that there is no oxygen cylinders available so uh, and uh, according to me many times it may not be required so they have to give confidence to the patients and the patient attenders also have to have some confidence it's a mind game they have to fight the this particular virus this disease by in the mind and they shouldn't lose the fight to the virus they have to fight the virus so it's very very important every citizen fights the virus and not allow the virus to fight them If you like this video please like share and subscribe to our channel